This short video summarizes the conclusions which can be located to chapter 7 of the thesis titled Airport Mobile Internet. The structure of the thesis is divided into three main parts. Introduction, four research papers, and the conclusions. Each of the research papers were done at different point in time, and each of them included individual conclusions. This video and the last chapter of the thesis include the general conclusions together with limitations, contributions, and future research which is followed presented. The first conclusion is that air passengers traveling with a smartphone has been continuously growth, reaching or over 80%, and it's expected that very soon almost every passenger will travel with a smartphone. When looking at airports, although at a smaller rate, uh, they have been following through in providing mobile services for passengers. We uh, counted 26% of airports back in 2011, and it was almost 70% in 2014. So here again, it's expected that most of the airport will provide mobile services in a short period of time. When we first looked uh, at mobile services in 2011, we saw that mainly airports provided mobile websites, but more recently, on top of the mobile websites, they are provided mobile applications, mainly on uh, Apple, uh, iOS, and Android uh, systems. When we were looking for variables which try to explain which were the airports first adopting these new services, we found the following things. Airport sites doesn't seem to be related to early adoption. However, geographical location and commercial revenue uh, seems to be related. Early adoption of mobile internet was one variable which was related to innovation. And when analyzing airports to be innovators, we found four airports which were defined as real innovators. Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Stansted, and London Heathrow. As we can see, all of them belong to one geographical region, and they are not very separate with each other. When we were analyzing the information and services provided through these mobile applications, we saw that it, they tend to be very similar to the services provided on site of the terminal. However, how airports were using these smart possibilities? After the analysis carried out, we can conclude that airports are not still using the full potential of uh, smart of these services. And one example was on chapter five, when uh, the booking possibilities through the mobile application was only possible for parking, but it was not, for, uh, for instance, possible for public transport. Other conclusions to mention are that the use of video and blogs allowed the author to flip both the classroom and a, a conference. That the airport used for this research, airport.com, served as a blog hub because all the information, videos, uh, papers, and so on are uh, linked into the same location. And the academia industry collaboration, the conclusion is that it's not an easy task. But the, learned, the lessons learned were that if wanted to be established, should be long term and could be by a variety of ways by doing project based learning, internship programs, as well as PhD programs in collaborations between academia and industry. When looking for the right counterpart, for the industry to try to reach an agreement, two criteria were found to be useful. One is that the counterpart has a research understanding. A second is like a, he or she has a decision making within the airport organization. At least four limitations should be taken into account for this research. First, airports in the sample are, are taken from many different regions, which might be very different 
as for instance in the internet penetration. Second, only very large or large airports were considered, but not small airports. Third, only one single mobile uh, operating system was used to analyze airport mobile and, uh, websites and applications. And fourth, all, although the original aim was to link uh, airport mobile applications and airport quality, at the end it was not possible to do it together and it was done on a separate basis. This research contributes by starting a new line of research in the airport management research. The research also contributes with a good amount of primary data, which is openly available in the blog. The research contributes with a new innovation model, which could be applicable, applied uh, in all cases for airports as well as for, as for other industries. And last, it provides with a new approach to try to solve all problems, such as the uh, airport access. For future research, uh, we believe that on top of size, geographical locations and commercial revenue, which were used in this research to try to explain early adoption and innovation, could be added others, such as percentage of low cost carriage operating in one airport or percentage of IT uh, used for one airport. The analysis done in three points in time for this group of airports is believed that could be done again sometime in the near future to try to follow up on that research. And last, taking into account the difficulty to measure airport service quality and the active use of social media by airports, maybe we see there an opportunity to try to first provide higher quality, but then to try to measure the airport quality. And I want to finish this presentation with this example of social media conversations at an airport. I have taken the Twitter account of London Heathrow Airport and I have observed three communications. Hey, Heathrow Airport, your staff at security saved my bacon this morning. Was in a huge rush and they got me through the gate just in time. God bless them. It was a positive feedback from one passenger. Let's see what the other said. Heathrow Airport always a nice British welcome to foreigners to stand at immigration for more than 45 minutes at 10 o'clock in the morning. This is not fair. And another one passenger just asking a question. Good morning from Heathrow. Please let us know if we can help you with your journey today. Yes, I have one question. Can a passenger flying through Heathrow taking a tennis racket? Please. Hi Pedro, tennis rackets are fine to take in hand luggage. Thank you very much and have a pleasant flight. And I just want to say Thank you very much for your attention.